Well, Mother's Day is just around the corner, folks, and we are celebrating hot mamas here today on The Scoop. Our guest is Jessica Denae, a very hot mama. Hey, Jessica. Hi. Jessica, I have to tell you, every person that I told I was doing this interview to, the girls, every single girl goes, oh my gosh, that's so great, what a good idea, that's so true, girls should still, you know, take care of themselves and, and think of themselves as hot after they have kids, and every guy, now mind you, these are guys who don't yet have kids <laughs> or wives, go, ew, gross, moms aren't supposed to be hot, but that's wow. really not true, is it? You're here to tell us that that is not the truth anymore. Absolutely not. Every mom can be a hot mom. And when we say hot, we mean confident, empowered. So it doesn't matter what age you are or what shape or what size. Every mom really can be a hot mom. And it's so important for moms to put their beauty back on their to-do list and put themselves on their to-do list. Mm -hmm. Now, I was going to ask you, I'm glad that you said that, that anyone can really be a hot mom, because I think that it's easy for women to fall into the trap of sort of competing with each other in terms like this and you know after you have kids a lot of people say oh gosh I need to go you know get this touched up or get that touched up and and really you feel just just worse about yourself and you can kind of fall into that a bad pattern there so what do you say to moms who maybe interpret this in the wrong way well, you know, first of all, it's so easy for moms to fall into that mommy rut. I know I did. And, you know, 80, 89 percent of moms admit they let themselves go mm -hmm. after they have children. I got myself back, and 100 percent of the moms can get themselves back, too. And there are things you can do at home, simple things that you can do in your daily life that don't involve, you know, any, you know, surgeries or anything <laughs> drastic like you were just talking about that you can do that will help make yourself help make you feel more beautiful and help make yourself feel more confident on a daily basis. There are things that you can do in only a few minutes. So I always tell all the moms, turn your bathroom into like a mini at-home spa. You know, make it a mini oasis. You can use great smelling body washes, shampoos, and conditioners. It doesn't cost a lot to do this. And again, it changes your whole mood all day when you're smelling good instead of like a dirty gym sock or, mm -hmm. or baby spit up. You smell like a woman. And I love the swab products because they only cost a couple bucks and they work great and they smell amazing so it's so really more no about it's really more about doing things that make you feel good and that you make you feel like you're a hot mom rather than that, that you're living up to someone else's standards about exactly that. it's you know what it's all about making you feel good because let's face it when you're refreshed and you're recharged you're the best value to your family then mm -hmm, it's a mm -hmm. domino effect mom's the nucleus of the family so she you know you, you owe it to them to refresh yourself and recharge you're not the best mom unless you're the best you mm -hmm. now we have down here in North Carolina we have a, a club called Mothers Unlimited which I think has even spread to other states and I was on their website yesterday right. one of them was actually going to come in. She wasn't able to come in to talk with you. But um, it's just a club where they get together and they encourage each other and they help each other be, you know, sort of the best people and the best moms they can be. I understand you guys have a hot moms club as well. Is that right? Exactly. It's the same premise. And again, anything, anytime moms are connecting and, and serving as a resource for one another is amazing. It's all about the shared experience. And today it's so exciting that moms, you know, a lot of times as moms we feel isolated, we feel alone. Is anyone else going through this? You can hop on the web now. There's so many great resources out there. I don't know if you've seen that in the motherhood.com. It's the mm -hmm. in the motherhood webisode series with Jenny yes. McCarthy. They're, they're hilarious. And again, <laughs> it's your funny, amazing, embarrassing moments all played out there. I mean, and again, it makes you feel like you're not alone. So it's great to laugh. And that's another great thing, a great beauty tip is laughing. Mm -hmm. Motherhood's funny. It's going to keep you young to laugh and it's going to preserve your sanity. Mm -hmm. So I encourage moms, listen, you know, we, we all can do what you can do. So you try, try and balance it all. Take some time for yourself and put a little me back in mommy, but ultimately have fun. Absolutely. Now, I understand you have a new project that you just released a new book, right? For people who are not yet quite full <laughs> moms, I guess you could say. Yep, this one is uh, Womb with a View. It's the Hot Mom to Be handbook. It's the prequel to my last book. Mm -hmm. And this is for pregnant moms. Because I love to many, many pregnant moms feel that they're so afraid that they're going to lose themselves after they become pregnant. So this is kind of the cheeky guide to get them through the nine months and help them start some good patterns and, and some good routines. We have a copy of that um, that I will be posting a link to online after this. Now, also, I'm glad you mentioned In the Motherhood. We actually did an interview with Jenny McCarthy when she was promoting that, too. So it's a hysterical site. I'll link to that as well. Fantastic. Yeah, Jessica, thank you so much for talking with us. Oh, thank you, for thank you for having me. Of course. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, uh, are you mom? No, I'm not. Just <laughs> <But> hot, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you, girl. Bye now. Bye.